Hi, I'm Adam Hall, Technical Marketing Manager here at Signature Solar here in Sulphur Springs, Texas. We are here today to discuss BMS communications between the EG4 batteries and the EG4 6500EX inverters. You need two types of cables to complete this build, the first of which is the one-foot Ethernet cables used for inter-battery communication. The second of which is the EG4 6500EX communication cable. This cable connects from the host batteries at BMS to the host inverter for direct BMS communication. After the system has been fully connected, we need to set the battery address. The host battery must have his dip switches set to down, 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 down. All other batteries in the stack must have a different dip switch setting. This allows them to be seen as different batteries in the stack. Our next step is to establish inter-battery communications. This is done using the one foot ethernet cords going from the top right port to the bottom left port, right port to left port, right port to left port until you've gone all the way through the battery stack. Now we need to turn on our battery bank. We complete this by flipping on each breaker on the left side of the battery all the way down the stack. Using the EG4 6500EX communication cable, we're going to go from the open left port from our host battery to the lithium ion port on our host inverter. Next, we need to change our battery settings on our host inverter. We do that by holding the enter button down for three seconds to access the system settings. Once we have the flashing double zero, we navigate down to setting 05 and press enter. Now that our battery setting is flashing, we need to navigate down to EG4. This is the setting used to communicate with EG4 batteries of all types. Press enter to save the setting and back to get to the main menu. Now, our battery icon will be flashing on our host inverter telling us we have BMS communication. With our host inverter taken care of, now we need to go to our 2P2 inverter to make sure its battery setting is in the correct spot. Now just like our last inverter, we have to hold the enter button down for three seconds to access the system settings. Once we have our flashing zero, we navigate down to setting 05 and we see this one has already been set to USE. This is the setting that we'll use for every secondary inverter with EG4 battery communications. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to SignatureSolar.com support page. My name is Adam Hall, Technical Marketing Manager with Signature Solar, and until next time, we'll see you.